time for part three of camper repair. Today we're taking the dump truck down because if you guys watched my last video, you'd see that the interior of the camper is covered in plywood and foam and stuff that I stripped off the ceiling. So we're just gonna take the dump truck, make it a little easier to dump all the trash out when I'm done. I'm just gonna load it up in there. But uh, fortunately we have to jump start this guy because it's been sitting for a while since I don't drive it in winter. So let's get the old Colorado out here to jump start. Getting some deja vu from the last camper video. Seems like we got a lot of jump starting going on. But anyway, this is one of them diesels with the double batteries, but I assume they're connected, so if you jump one, it probably connects to the other. Let's see if the old thing fires up. It hasn't been plugged in for a couple of months, so it's gonna be a hard start, that's for sure. All right, well, here we go. Oh boy, this is not going great. No luck on this guy today. I'll just plug it in and start it up another day and bring it down for the trash. I think we're going to be loading the trash into the square body though today instead. So we're taking this guy instead. You guys haven't seen this truck yet, but it was another Royal Vermonter impulse buy. You can see I've already been loading the junk in here. Guess it's just gonna have a little more junk in it. There she goes. All right, we're in the warehouse now. I luckily got my time extended to January 5th, but that is in two days, so. I need to finish everything up that uh, I should finish up when I have the access to the warehouse. Um, which I guess includes the back wall and finish up the roofing just because then it'll be watertight and then I can work at my house more comfortably. Um, so first order of business is we got to clean up the mess, then we're going to do the back wall, finish the roofing. Let's get started. First order of business on day whatever of the camper repair is to clean this stuff up so I'm not breathing in all the bad fumes from this and also it's just not fun to work in here when there's all this gross junk. So I'm gonna clean up this room. Okay, well, it took me two hours, seriously. But we're cleared out. Unfortunately, I got some of the black uh, caulk on the floor there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that off, but that's not really important right now. I'm not gonna. This is how much stuff it filled up of my truck. It's a lot. All right, a quick gourmet lunch stop on my gourmet cardboard plate. All right, I'm done with the lunch break, and now I just have to finish up adding the foam in there. So that's what I'm doing now. Cutting it to size and gluing it up. And I use the wood to hold it in place. All right, we'll let um, all this dry up here, and then I'm gonna put linoleum over it, or, well, I still have to do a little more um, caulk in the seams, but yeah, got all the foam up, it's good. Now that I waterproofed all this, uh, I'm gonna be putting this linoleum kind of thing up there to make it look a little nicer. It doesn't exactly match this old stuff, but it's close enough for me. And I might change it if I'm gonna try to sell this in the future. All right, now I'm just prepping this piece of plywood, uh, which is going to replace the back wall. So I'm putting the liquid roof on it. Hopefully I'll put it on either side so that it's waterproofing the wood. And uh, probably is going to be better quality than the original back wall in the camper. Okay, it is now January 4th. I have one day left. Uh, I think last night you saw me ended, end the video by uh, 
prepping the wood to put on the back wall. So I, I finished that up last night. So here's what I did off camera last night is I started remanufacturing the back wall. Like you saw, I painted it so the side that's glued in is painted and then we'll paint this side again. Um, so there you go. We'll add some caulk to seal up the cracks and then uh, seal around the window on the outside. And then I have some more to seal on the outside of the wall. So behind this. And then uh, the back wall should be done too. I have one quick thing to mention. A couple people didn't believe me that these walls are fiberglass. You can tell, first of all, because they, they're a little wavy. You can also tell by the way they sound that they're fiberglass. If somebody who's a bounder expert could back me up in the comments, that'd be helpful. And if you look in these cracks here, you can see that that's not aluminum. That is fiberglass. So hopefully you believe me now. And we'll get some bounder experts to comment below also. Better to keep the water out. And you'll be happy to know I bought this uh, 30 by 50 tarp at the Home Depot. So when I get back to my place, it will cover uh, the camper's roof and the siding. So no more water will get in for sure. We got new roofing in there, waterproofed. Plus I'm gonna have a tarp over it at all times, well, not, and, except for when I'm driving it. So we will get no more water damage in this beautiful bounder. Sorry for the footprints on the roof because I did walk over it with dirty shoes and I had some friends who also walked over it with dirty shoes, but uh, this is what the third coat looks like, so it's pretty thick now. Um, I'm going to put caulk over this, so reseal this, because the back wall did have a couple of leaks, so I want to make sure we get everything. And then I'm just going to do a little bit more on the roof around the, the seams, and the front seam and the back seam. I think these are the two main seams that were leaking, was this one and the same one up front. So do a little more there and then be done. This back wall is getting pretty solid now. Sorry for the extremely messy caulking, but um, this big stuff is spray and foam just because uh, there was too big of a gap for the caulk. And it goes underneath, the caulk goes underneath, and then some spray and foam around the window, some spray and foam up there. I didn't know it was going to expand that much, but I guess it did. Uh, and now you saw that I already waterproofed the outside, so this should be all good. Okay, so now that I'm uh, comfortable with not having to be in the warehouse anymore for fear that water would get in and stuff, I can work on some other things. Most importantly is the rear view mirrors because I need to drive this back home and I can't see a thing behind me when I'm driving this. Okay, they're on now and I added some caulk around them on either side just to make sure that uh, no water gets in where those bolt holes are. Okay, well that wraps up today. That is all the time I have allotted in this warehouse as well. So now I'm going to be working back at my house again. Um, now I'm going to drive it to the tire shop where they're going to do the tires because you guys probably saw they're pretty dry rotted in the last All right, it's... Uh, pretty late at night now. I had to go home because uh, I need a friend to come with me to this tire shop so they can drive me home afterward. Uh, so it's about eight o'clock like I said. Anyway, we'll wait for the lights to warm up and then I'll start this up. It's been a couple weeks since it started so we'll see how it starts and then I'll drive over there. Let's see if it starts up.
Well, I managed to maneuver out of the tight warehouse. We're gonna head to the tire place now. Having rear view mirrors helped me. Here we go. Oh boy, I was cruising at uh, 66 earlier pretty easily, but this hill is uh, taking me down. I'm doing about 50 now, and she is not happy. Oh boy. May have to lay off the gas a little bit. Alright, well, uh, here we are. Made it. And they will do it. They'll do the tires tomorrow morning. It's two nights later, and they have the tires all done. It's nighttime again, because that's really the only time I can pick this up since I work during the day. Look at that. Brand new. $1,400 later. Holy smokes. Not cheap, but a reputable place. Let's see if it starts up now. It's a bit colder than it was yesterday. I think it's 25 or something. Started right up, let's get it home. Well, look at that. The beautiful beast made it back home. Now I just gotta clear all the snow off the roof that fell last night, it's something like three inches. For God's sake. And look at that, she's all tarped up.